All right, 517 in the morning, showing up to the marina on a weekday or weekend. Yeah, there we go. We got a line. It's expected. Well, what's going on everyone? Thanks for checking out another of my videos. San Francisco Bay again. Look at that beautiful morning in San Francisco right there. Got my good friend with me now, Ahmed. Good morning guys, how you doing? Get him on some halibut today, that's the plan. So right now, my friend Kevin, you've seen some of these last videos, he's over there getting us the bait and he's gonna bring it to us. So nice of him to offer to do that and saving us the trip from going there and beating this huge crowd on a Saturday. There's gonna be so many boats there, I imagine. So we're gonna be one of the first boats to the fishing ground. We brought some jigs we might use uh, before Kevin shows up because I want to get a fish on an artificial. We'll see if we can do that today. The bite's been really hot. Excited to get to the fishing grounds on this beautiful morning. All right, we'll see you guys there. Well, this is what we're working with a bunch of pit bull tackle stuff jig heads little swim baits bucktails decide here what we want to put on and show you but some good options all right guys this is what i'm picking this morning I'm trying to go for the smelt look so this is what i'm using a glow in the dark bucktail just turn the lights on i'm going to stick it in the light and glow it up a little bit so we have the ideal tide this morning. It's a slow incoming. High tide's about eight o'clock. Um, so should have lights out fishing this morning. All right, you guys ready to go get them? So I guess we'll just head down there. Yeah. Okay, halibut rig here. Um, pretty basic, that's what it looks like. Regular hook. The treble hook is what I use, just right below it. I don't put the treble hook in the fish. Um, and if you lose, use fluoro line, it's kind of stiff, so it stays out, it doesn't sag. And so I just have that treble hook sitting right below the uh, anchovy. And if you do that, it's important you use a, a lighter weight treble hook, otherwise it'll weigh down the fish and then drag in the ground. So it's just pierced from the bottom lip to the upper lip. And it's just gonna sit like that. So now we're just going to drop it down to the bottom. We don't want to drag in the bottom. Maybe, you know, ideally your weight's two inches above the, the bottom. So you're going to see your depth and just, you know, adjust it as you go. All right. Now how can we position this camera to get both rods on it? Oh, there we go. Picking up both rods there. That's the shot. Even see you. Oh, you're Just missed a bite, looks like.
You got the good? <laughs> yep. Keep an eye on my rod, the one on the left. Can you tell there's a fish on there? You will see when I finally look at the rod, within a second I notice there's a fish on. You get so familiar with your rod, you know exactly how it's supposed to bounce. And when something is just a little fishy. Oh, all right, another one. This one feels really big. I don't know. I mean, feels good, that's for sure. Whoa! Whoa! What? <laughs> no, it's our, it's our target species. I think it's a good one. <laughs> I think we got a good one here, guys. Said that about the last one. And, oh, it just came off. Yeah, I must saw that. Barely pulling on it. There's the hooks. Damn. Ugh. Oh, you, you, you. How is it look? Probably a netter, right? It's a keeper. Yep. Keep a uh, twenty-three incher. <laughs> uh, I love when they bite like that. Well, all right, twenty-five incher. Yeah, brain shot that guy. All right, we just reset our drift. We got three on the boat now. The bite slowed down a little bit, but we got that last one, you know, twenty minutes ago. So. Still fish getting caught. Looking for our fourth year pretty soon, hopefully. It's just a little after nine o'clock. So we've been fishing for, I don't know, two hours now. You haven't checked the bait or something. You know. I thought it stuck. I mean, it most likely wasn't, but I think it's worth checking every 10 minutes. It's so easy to check. Yeah. Oh, I'm what? I'm you are, huh? Well, huh? this fish bit real lightly. Another keeper with big waves. Wait. No, it broke off. Got it. Good job. Like you saw the line snap, right? Like, and then your heart sunk. Yeah, and I was like, fuck, they love this. And then, <laughs> then he... <laughs> All right, so here's number four, the one that we uh, saved on the gaff shot there after the line broke. So Matt, he's caught in you know, quite a few now today. So his line got a little weak. Now I was just playing it safe, even though I was very confident this was a keeper. Um, when I pulled it up, you know, the line broke because it was a weaker line from all the fish he'd caught earlier. 
saved it with that gap job though. Before I push it here, my guess is 23 and a half. 24. They got one. They're like doing acrobats for it. What? Guy up front's running around now. They must be commercial guys. They got a shit load of total rod though. Uh, he brought in another rod. He's running up front. We get that rod out of the way. It has to be a big stingray, right? Or is that what a white sea bass looks like? Or a giant striper? I think the stingray could look like that. He's got the gaff. The guy in the orange has the gaff now. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a white sea bass. Is it really? Yep. White sea bass. Are you serious? Yep, no joke. Yep, I see it. I'm not joking. This guy's just got a white sea bass. I mean, no point in putting the camera, you guys won't be able to see him, but wow. We saw them fighting this fish, bringing up other lines on the boat. I think they're commercial guys. There's a lot of rods out, two guys on it. And uh, yeah, white sea bass for sure. Ten fifteen now, one left to go. Nothing that big of size yet. We lost the big one earlier, that was for sure. All the keys, nice keepers, about 24 inches. When I say nice, great fillets, great size to eat up. I love it. I got all five fish out for us to take a look at. Looks like this one's the biggest one in the middle. I haven't really given them much of measures today. Guys, 25 and a half. Uh, which one do you think is the shortest? Let me say that one. Shortest, just over 23. Okay, trying one last spot here on the way in. Wind's a little less here as we're going north, so that was nice. So yeah, let's give it a try. I've caught some fish here, and pretty recently too. Tons of boats a little farther down. fish you love it how we went away from all the other boats because I had the spot marked and then hooked up right away go slow go slow go slow go slow yep I saw him going towards the motor you're good nothing you can really do just go slow he's a piece good size one there we go all right, well, that was one of the better ones of the day right there. 26 inches or so. Way to send us home, Ahmed. And when we whacked that one, he coughed up a shrimp. I've seen that before, but man, these guys eat a lot of different things. The last one had crab the other day. All right, I was guessing about 27. Not over that, maybe 26, but let's see. Yep, 26 and a half. All right, heading in. All right, well, we're loaded up. Rinse the motors out. 
Looks like everyone's out there still trying to get theirs. Booyah.